Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Capricorn January 2, 2023. Later today, the moon heads into the sign behind yours, signaling a need to rest and regenerate. With the sun and Uranus in harmony in your emotional sectors, you can feel a strong desire to break free from certain restrictions or get over a hurdle. You might consider ways to improve your living space, situation, or conditions, as now you see opportunities. It's a beautiful time for putting a negative element of your life behind you. Bravery and confidence build and rise as you sense you're moving past something, or you free yourself of an energy-draining habit. Giving support or help can be rewarding. Today's transits bring a need for emotional refreshment. If you're feeling under the weather or less motivated than usual, try not to add pressure to the situation. This is an opportunity for you to rest and recharge. Whether you're single or romantically attached, the influence of the Sun, Pluto, and Venus retrograde in Taurus, via your 12th house of closure, solitude, and all things behind the scenes, can be equally as cathartic as it is challenging. In addition to reflecting on your value systems and past romantic partnerships, you're also being called to take a closer look at your vices or tendencies of escapism. You're healing before you commit to something real. Do you feel the relief yet? 2021 was hard, but this year looks a little easier for you astrologically. For now, you ought to navigate the first transit of the year, Sun in Taurus trine Uranus retrograde in Taurus. Thanks to its earthy nature, the trine is somewhat steady, but Uranus retrograde is sure to cause an internalized revolution. You are being called to shift your perspective of professionalism, value, and structure. To do your very best this year, you need to have a more positive and stable outlook on your career path. As Jupiter and Neptune, the planets of luck and dreams spend their first weekend together in your income sector there is a chance to look to the future with confidence. It will take another three months before they align and with income potential set to rise during that time, it is important to realize that this is not a repeat of last year but a chance for a fresh start. Use this time to renew contacts with your family. They will be pleased and you might even be able to resolve old conflicts, as a mediator or by taking the first step to clear matters up. The constellation is favorable for burying the hatchet once and for all. It's one of those slow days that seems to keep getting slower. Try not to start anything big or crazy. You won't be able to get up the energy for it and it might just fade away. In touch with your emotions, you are fortunate to be so clear about your feelings which helps you decide exactly what to do. Whether you are looking for casual dates or interested in starting a more serious relationship, you make the right choice. Start planning how best to best pursue your own happiness. Your wounds don't always heal quickly. Once you feel burned by someone, you are likely finished with him or her for quite some time. On the other hand, you are willing to forgive and forget if a straightforward conversation settles the score. If you have feelings of misgiving about a friend, air them out with this person. Speak your truth and then decide if the friendship is worth saving. You will feel better about yourself if you find out for sure. Today is the day to refresh relationships that have become stale or complacent. Break out of those old routines and ruts that you have become entrenched in, and try something new and possibly unexpected. If there is someone new that you have been dying to meet, now is the time to trust your intuition and call them. On a day like this, they will find your easygoing manner hard to resist. Our eyes in the sky. The moon squares Mercury, Venus, and Pluto this morning, which could create some emotional tension in the day. Give yourself some extra time to regroup. We might experience some fear or trepidation as we move toward the new year, which could leave us feeling uninspired and physically exhausted. After a trying 2022, you might not feel optimistic about the upcoming year, and faking it won't come easily right now. Give yourself permission to feel whatever emotions you're experiencing now, but don't forget to look for the joy and acknowledge the blessing around you. It is not too late to capitalize on a fantastic opportunity of yesterday. Momentum from the previous couple of days has been building, 
setting you up to make a major move. Do it now before restrictions from other people descend upon you. Later, the moon changes signs into Taurus, giving us the opportunity to shake off any excess emotions we've been holding on to. It's okay to remove yourself from your feelings a bit in favor of focusing on yourself and the upcoming year. There could be some anger in the air because there's a sense that there are so many things that are out of our control right now. Take a breather if you need to, and remember that it's okay to not celebrate if you're not feeling up to it. Things will get better and easier in 2023, but it's okay to be unhappy with the situation as it stands right now. Hold on to the people who make you happy, and find comfort in your loved ones and within yourself. In the pre-dawn hours, the moon squares off with Venus, making us eager to please. Relationships are rarely black and white, but Venus in Capricorn causes us to judge their value based on how optically successful they are. And under the Aries moon, we just want to win. During this aspect, we believe that our unions are graded on a pass basis. We either get them right, or we get them wrong and must therefore work harder to prove ourselves. Adopting this narrow definition of success to gauge whether our partnerships are truly fulfilling is short-sighted. Be mindful that treating other people as if they are stepping stones to a personal victory should be avoided. Your attitude at the beginning of the day will determine how others treat you throughout the rest of the day. Don't give other people a reason to dislike you or be disrespectful to you. You deserve to be treated like the best because you are the best. Following this, the moon squares Pluto, engendering conflict. We feel helpless, at the mercy of influential people or institutions. Our task now is to transmute our fear and reclaim our agency. However, we can't do this without first recognizing the trigger, which will probably come in the form of an imbalanced power dynamic. The moon then enters a void of course lasting four hours, during which time we should avoid taking action. Refuse to allow scare tactics or applied pressure to manipulate you into making a move. We might be shaking off the exhaustion of Sagittarius moon midnight escapades, resolving to get serious as we embrace the year ahead. Tomorrow's new moon is one for setting intentions and resolutions. Today, we can begin to consciously consider how we want our lives to look in 2023, not by visualizing what we want, but by deliberately declaring what situations we refuse to export out of 2022. Start thinking about what success means to you and avoid allowing others' intentions to put you into comparison paralysis. The only person you are competing with is yourself.